Hello friends, welcome back to Sildredi Pro Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. Thanks for liking uh, our videos and subscribing our channels. We are getting uh, uh, many questions and doubts from you and uh, we are very happy that we can able to resolve your doubts and we can able to make the video as per your request. So here is one of the requests that we are repeatedly getting that uh, they want to learn how we can do visibility analysis in Civil 3D. So here is the visibility analysis video for you. Uh, so for first thing that uh, for the visibility analysis, what you need is to have a corridor. Uh, so you have to have uh, your alignment and uh, design profile and you have to build your corridor. Uh, and you have to build uh, not just only corridor but the, all the element like if you have a fencing uh, if you have a barrier so you should uh, also model this uh, so let's get started so i have alignment and profile and the corridor ready over here i have designed my proposed surface as well so you need all those things so here you can see my uh, cross section so I'm having two lengths and there's a barrier in the middle of the section and then cut and fill. So this is my two lane two way corridor. Now uh, I want to do the visibility analysis on this curve. So how I can do that? Well the visibility analysis uh, should be done on both sides. So uh, on the left side if your vehicle is moving on this direction you should do the visibility analysis on outer lane. And for the vehicle moving from this direction, you should need to do the visibility analysis uh, for the inside lane. Now, you have to do the visibility analysis on the center of the lane. So here I have uh, uh, one polyline. So you can do the visibility analysis if you uh, with feature line and also with uh, alignment and profile. So I will show you the both way. So uh, here I'm going to do visibility analysis for the outer lane. So what I did, I just created one reference line in the middle of the outer lane. Now I'll convert this reference line into feature line and assign my proposed level to it. So I'll convert this and select assign elevation, click OK. And I select my proposed surface, so yeah, and click OK. So now this is converted into 3D polyline or 3D feature lines. Once it can, you select this feature lines. Now in anal, go to the analysis tool here. Here you can see the visibility check. So in analysis tool, visibility check, go to check side distance. Uh, once you go to check section, the <clears throat> now you have to fill some data. So here first thing you have to select 3D polyline, which we have already selected. If you haven't selected, you can select click from here and select those so here you can see my start point and end point of the 3d lines and you need to give the, uh, some interval so i'll give the five and then you need to select your proposed surface okay so you need to select proposed surface as well you can enter uh, more surface so you can enter whatever the uh, all the surface you need so i'll just go with my proposed surface uh, you can also add existing surface as well so it do the visible analysis with the proposed and existing surface. Now the next thing I'll do, I need to add some uh, side distance value. So uh, suppose my speed is 80 kmph, you have to check your country standard that for the 80 kmph or whatever your speed, what are the value for the side distance. So for 80 kmph it will be around uh, I guess 210 you have to check and I height would be around 1.05 or 1.2 that also depend on your country starter just check that and the target height or object height will be around 0.26 so you need to check all this still uh, three value as per your country starter and you have to uh, give those values now the next here you have to assign some layers to it so you can able to see clearly the visibility envelope so for the visibility sideline i have uh, given the green and the offset sidelines I have given the red uh, layer, so you have to assign some layers. And you can also generate the reports. So here uh, I'm going and I'm going to save it on my desktop visibility analysis report. I'll click OK. So you can also generate report for the visibility analysis. And now just finish and let Civil 3D calculate the visibility 
and null is for you. So as you can see that visibility analysis I've done for the outer lane uh, for inside curve. <coughs> And let's just swell 3D, calculate it. Once the report will be generated, we can able to see uh, whether we have any obstruction in our visibility or not. So, as you can see that visibility and law envelope is developed now here you can see that there are some green lines if i just isolate this you can clearly see the visibility envelope So you can see there are some red lines and the green line. So the red line means that the visibility is obstructed somewhere. So basically what it do, it calculate visibility uh, as per your SST distance. So like I given the 210, so it will check from every uh, meter that uh, the 210 visibility are achievable or not. And that's how it develops those lines. So if you can see that line from here to here, there's some obstruction in between that's why it's showing the red line even if i go and check the report it will clearly show at what uh, visibility you are getting at every point so if i go to the now let's go to this drawing and see what is affecting my visibility so i'll just go to my corridor and uh, we'll see so there are two reasons that visibility uh, can be affected either you have not properly designed the vertical curve that also uh, result uh, with the visibility and if you have any obstruction like uh, uh, you have any fencing or you have any site constraint building or anything in middle then also the visibility get affected well the building and other thing will not be going to be checked over here but you get that horizontally i need at least point uh, this thing uh, visibility up to this point will should be a clear so uh, up to this outer line there should not be any obstruction so if you have any building or trees line up the trees or something like that uh, you should not uh, need to be removed to be able to provide a clear visibility so this outer line give me the horizontal value of the visibility that i should have been clear of this and also my vertical curve should be about, uh, 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 long enough to provide a clear visibility so those two things now we'll see oh, what is affecting over here so if i go and run i click my feature line and you can also drive and can see what is actually affecting your visibility so here you can see and i'll change it to realistic All right, so you can able to see that I'll change my speed to 80 kmph, and I directly go to on my center of the curve. So you can run, and you can clearly see where. So if you can see that my corridor is in mostly in cutting, and as you come close to the curve, you can able to see uh, the green lines and the red lines. So now you can see the green line, there is a visibility in envelope. And if I stop over here, as you can see, due to this cutting, my visibility is getting affected. So you can clearly see that what is affecting your visibility. If I run more, So as you can see that this is cutting and this is not allowing me to have a 210 visibility clearance. 
so that's how you can check your uh, visibility i mean you need to widen your words or something up to this point uh, the end of the red line so you can have a clearly visibility and then you need to create uh, generate your cut and fill so that's really help you to uh, decide your overall corridor uh, lane configuration width of the verge or the footway so if i can go and widen this uh, verge or footway over here i could get the clear visibility now the next thing we do check the visibility on this lane because my vehicle will move over it should have clear visibility in the median as well so right now i have developed uh, the barrier over here and uh, maybe there are some plantation or anything uh, in middle that can obstruct your visibility so let's check now that and this time i'm going to check visibility with the alignment so what i'll do i create one offset alignment and the offset value is center of lane which is 5 meter away and just click ok so you can see i have created one alignment over here what i'll do if i add my proposed corridor surface in this profile so i go to the surface profile and i will add my proposed corridor surface in it and click ok so you have to check with your proposed surface and not with the uh, offset profile because offset profile will be around 2 meter but in case if you have some super elevation or anything that will be captured by your proposed surface so you should always select your proposed surface so now i go with this alignment and again go with the side distance so now you can see there's my alignment and this i'm selecting my proposed surface corridor surface again you give to value 5 you can enter your proposed and your existing ground both next thing side distance value you have to enter to 10 i height 1.05 and the object high would be 0.26 go to next assign some level and create reports and just finish and let the civil 3d calculate the visibility at the curve just bear with me it's a bit taking little time calculating so yep uh, it's done calculation let's check now so you can see i'm again getting some red lines over here uh, and green line over here so there is a visibility problem with the median as well now as you know that i have developed a barrier in the median and that's affecting my visibility over here if i go and check again you can select this alignment and you can again drive and can see what is affecting your visibility just right click and select your proposed profile click ok and change your style realistic and drive so you can see that i have barrier here in the center and now let's run and as you can come at the curve you can see the green lines and the red lines again
and you can see that now here my visibility being affected due to the barrier so that's how you can check your visibility uh, inside curve and the outside inside lane and outside lane on the opposite direction So this is the visibility check or you can call it SST check and as you can see it can do things so the solution that I have to widen the verge over here so my this is uh, up to this lane or maybe one meter if you have more so you have to widen your verge or the footway or whatever up to this point up to the visibility check ends and same thing you have to widen your median and put this barrier inside so you can get the clear visibility over here this is uh, so this is the visibility for the lane in next video we go will show uh, you how you can check the visibility at the junction and the roundabout so yeah keep subscribe uh, subscribe our video and turn the notification on for the latest video updates thank you